Hi, um, I figured I'd make a, a short video just showing off some of my bonsai trees um, so that you can see there'll be different ones in different stages of development, some small, some large, um, just so people who watch my videos have a sense of uh, the main trees I have. I always have, you know, a number of seedlings and things like that going to, to start new things, but, you know, I've Having so many trees, you learn over the years, it's it's better to downsize a little bit and put more effort into the trees than have too many and not give them enough care. Um, this here is a camphor tree um, that I collected from another part of my yard that was kind of grew on its own. Um, so it's one of my, I haven't had a camphor or bonsai before, so that's something I'm trying out. Um, I like I have my Florida red maples. This tree. I'll step back a little bit here so you can see it better. And that tree is the an air layer off of this tree. Another red maple, which is the parent tree. And you can see the base on there. Tilt that one up. You see that from back further. These trees get great fall color. Um, the leaves turn very red and orange. I've got some little Chinese elms, uh, Ficus benjamina, uh, dwarf bougainvillea, some Japanese quince that has a nice base on it. Um, I need to develop it. Um, a dwarf crepe myrtle. More Chinese elms, uh, a larger crepe myrtle, gets beautiful pink flowers, probably in about another month or two. Um, this is that azalea you've seen in other videos that where I did a hard prune initially, and it's really filled out. And when once that gets starts getting a little woody at the bases of those stems, I'll prune it back some, and maybe at that time make another video. And I'll be repotting that in the in the winter, um, you know, next year. Here's a large ficus. Um, probably after this video, I'm going to make a video where I, I defoliate uh, the ficuses at least once a year, sometimes twice. Um, that lets the light in and uh, keeps it budding back. You don't lose your ramification. Uh, and also, it's easier to see if you left any wire on to remove or if you need to prune the tree anywhere it's easier to see when you've defoliated it zelkova back there twin trunk i've got my bottle brush bonsai right now there's no flowers it had a few flowers on it not too long ago another one of my willow leaf ficus here's a hawthorn um, another Japanese quince, another crepe myrtle, uh, exposed root style there. Here's a, a small horn bean. You know, someday if I get enough viewers and get popular, I'll make a studio and then I can really show the trees properly because I know there's areas where there's too much shade or too much sun you can't really see clearly another willow leaf ficus with a fat trunk that was a cutting off of another tree it's another crepe myrtle the front's really on this side you can see the tree there here's a small hackberry and that's starting to get crowded out thin it out looks like even inside here might be got a branch dying back that's what happens, it gets shaded out. Let me aim it so the sun hits that. A sweet gum. There's a boxwood back there. There's the back of a red bud tree. It doesn't look like much. It's more when it's uh, just starting to flower in the winter before it leaps out. That's when that's the most beautiful. Another variety of dwarf crepe myrtle. There's a little Okami flowering cherry. Um, the back side of another crepe myrtle, which is being trained in the cascade style. Some cuttings that I rooted. Some 
pomegranates. There's one on a rock that I just pruned back hard. There's a uh, Freeman maple forest. Texas ebony right here. Um, this is a an air layer from another tree in my yard, a cassia, and this will get loaded. I just cut it back so it's got new growth popping out on it, and that gets loaded with yellow flowers. Um, got a brush cherry there that I need to prune back. Another uh, dwarf azalea that gets full of red flowers. I'll probably post the video when that happens. My blueberry is my native blueberry tree, and this is a another type of blueberry tree that I collected from a, a, a blueberry nursery where they uh, have you, you pick blueberries and they get sometimes they get rid of their older stock that's an Indian um, hawthorn which I see some wire biting in so I'll need to make sure I remove that wire soon um, there's another side view of the blueberry it's actually two trees Got a ginkgo down here, which I haven't. I need to get it, let it grow before I do work to it. Um, here's a large hornbeam. At one point, this was a much taller tree, and I had it in a semi-informal upright. Now I'm training it into a semi-cascade style. So that's the tree there. With, you can see the uh, the dead wood on the side exposed. I think it looks good. A natal plum I've been letting grow that I'll prune back and wire soon. There's a Confederate jasmine. This is a vine that was growing up along my fence a few years back. And I collected it and pruned it back and turned it into a bonsai. It, it's kind of free flowing. I haven't been able to get it real compact, but this is actually when it's the most beautiful, especially when it gets full of these beautiful white scented flowers. And you put that in a room and it just gives such a beautiful smell. And it just has a very graceful look to it. This is a uh, Turk's cap. It gets loaded with these red flowers. They, it's not a true hibiscus, but a lot of people think of it as a hibiscus. Um, I've got Casarina, which is also called Australian pine, which is not a true pine. And this is part of, both these trees were part of one tree. That when I went away for a while on vacation, I came back and it had appeared to die, but some of it, uh, through some really good care, I was able to get a lot of it to start budding back and, and make two separate trees out of it. Over here I have a uh, Chinese sweet plum. Nice base. It's cascade style. I have another azalea. This is the back side. Turn it around. You know, needs to be pruned back. A little detail work put on it somewhere. Here's a Duranta. That was an $8 find in a nursery and laying on its side in the back of a nursery, looking like it was going to die soon. So I bought that. You know, here's a Brazilian rain tree, exfoliating bark. Beautiful tree. Um, another juniper that's starting to fill out that I had pruned way back pretty hard. I'm glad to see it sprouting a lot of new growth. That was given to me by my friend Nick from the Bonsai Club when I did a little more work and design work on it. There's the backside of a spruce pine grouping that I did. Um, some of these trees are from seed and some are. Uh, air layers off of a, a larger tree in my yard. So yeah, let me see if I can get the other side of it. You can see that there. Some various junipers. You know, uh, different different types of junipers. Procumens nana. Some uh, you know Japanese Chinese junipers. Back there, literati style. Here's a large willow leaf ficus forest. Another juniper put on a rock. There's a cascade style. 
literati forest with juniper. I've got jade growing on a rock. I started out with a cutting on that rock and it's starting to become more of a tree now finally. I've got some black pine. And there's a lot of trees and uh, you know eventually I'll be working with different ones. I'll make videos where I just show a few of them at a time so you can actually see the, all the with their proper fronts. A lot of these you're not seeing the proper front of the tree. You know. This is an Ilex Shillings Holly. It was in the we had it was on display at the state convention a couple years back. It's a little overgrown, needs a little work. Backside of the Duranta. Another jade. Little ilex shillings down there. So that's that's the majority of my collection. I have a few other trees around, um, but that's the majority. So you have a sense of what I have in my yard that I'm looking at every day and watering almost every day. Uh, sometimes more than that now that it's getting hot. Um, all right, so I'll let you go with that. I'm probably gonna put out another video like I said defoliating a ficus I'll probably defoliate this one for the video um, but I'll need to do my other ficuses too all right thank you